Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. It's the end of 2023 because time flies. <laughs> I also don't know how it happened, but it also means we're at the end of another quarter, which means I'm doing another book haul. I only got six books to talk to you about today, and I have read literally the half of them. So and that's great. I only bought six books over these past three months, not a whole lot. Let's just get into things with the books i got in october got three books in october starting off with 19 steps by millie bobby brown this is a book that i wasn't necessarily planning on buying because even though i'm excited to read it I'm curious about reading it because i do follow millie bobby brown on instagram and just the way she has talked about this book has made me very interested in but i always thought i was gonna like read it from like the library or something but then i saw this <laughs> and i just i had to have it this is the dutch Copy and they're such such beautiful spray that just like are you kidding me so i just i had to pick it up it's historical fiction i believe it's not yeah it's historical fiction and i know it's based loosely on like millie bobby brown grandparents i believe or, like great grandparents i'm not entirely sure like it is based on like her own family history a little bit and then i got a very very exciting 2023 release as the chalice of the gods by rick Riordan, the sixth percy jackson the olympians book basically rick Riordan has decided to write some new books in the series following percy on his, the road to college basically and yeah i of course had to get it and uh, i loved it i did a whole <laughs> spoiler reading vlog on it so if you want to know my thoughts on it you can go and check it out and yeah i just i thought this was amazing i feel like it is such a good job as especially as someone who i didn't read the books when they were originally coming out but i did read them when i was in middle school and currently i am 22 <laughs> so it was been a long time in between like the original series and this so i felt a lot of the feels if you love percy read this book because generally it's so good. And then I ordered that book online and to get free shipping, I had to get another book. So I got The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead. This is the final book in the Bloodline series and also the only one from the series I didn't own yet. I bought like the whole series secondhand, like last year or the year before, I don't remember exactly when. And I just never found this one. So <laughs> I now that I'm like binging the series, I thought I would pick it up the bloodline series is a spin-off series from vampire academy which i read a few years ago now and i loved and i've heard and i've only heard like more amazing things about bloodlines most people seem to love the series more than vampire academy and i wasn't the biggest fan of the first book when i read that last year but i fell in love with book two and three this year so i am very excited to be able to continue and finish it and then in november i only got one book and that is king of greed by anna Wan. this is the third book in the kings of sin series this is an adult romance like companion series so each book follows a different couple this is the second book it was released this year king of pride was also released early this year and i loved that i also loved the first book so i was very excited to get to this one especially because it's a marriage in trouble except it's also kind of second chance because you do get divorced so i don't really know how it counts but officially it's marketed as a marriage and travel and the especially the female main character in this book like shows up a lot in the second book and her relationship her marriage in trouble is kind of already discussed in that book so i was very excited to get to this because i love marriage and trouble romances i've discovered this year i've had a couple this year and i really enjoy them and because I already loved the rest of the series, I liked the setup in that second book. I was so excited for this and it ended up being in a little bit of a letdown. But I read it in December, so you'll see my thoughts on it in a wrap-up very soon. And then in December, I got two books, which are also both 2023 releases. So I bought a lot of new releases <laughs> this quarter. The most important one is the one that came out in December. as Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. I read this immediately on release day, like I had pre-ordered, I picked it up from the bookstore because I did have it pre-ordered in store, not mailed to me. And I just, I first reread the first four volumes and then immediately dove into this one, finished it within like an hour and very deeply regret it. <laughs> because now I have to wait until God knows when, when volume six is going to be released. I hope Alice Osman takes her time with it because it will be the final volume, volume six, but I also want it now. <laughs> I know I want to, I want more of this story. And then we have already arrived to our last book, and that is Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. I was kind of debating on picking this up because even though I love the Shadowhunter verse, which is Cassandra Clare's main 
the thing she's ever with it. She has written a middle grey series with Holly Black, which I have not read. This is like her solo first adventure outside of the Shadowhunter world. And I was a bit nervous. I didn't know if I wanted to pick this up because I like the Shadowhunter world. I don't necessarily like Cassandra Clare, you know, because I've not read anything besides the Shadowhunter world. But I have actually heard some great things about this uh, from like Shadowhunter friends as well. So take what I say with a grain of salt. So I decided to pick it up also because again this is a Dutch copy and it just is gorgeous. But yeah, that was my very short quarterly book haul. I didn't get a lot of books and I, I never know what to say in hauls, which is also why I did them quarterly and not like monthly or something. I mean I also don't get enough books to do it more frequently, but I also just I never know what to say. So yeah, if you read any of these books, let me know in the comments what you thought of them. I was gonna say so that I know which ones are prioritized. But I already had read half of these, so like I know which ones to prioritize. <laughs> but still, I'd love to discuss these books with you in the comments. And yeah, also let me know some of the books you got this past quarter. And if you're watching this on a day it's released, Happy New Year's Eve. Uh, have a fun 2024. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>